In 1990, a nearly complete specimen of Tyrannosaurus rex was unearthed. Scientists from Montana State University found that these bones were not totally fossilized. Sections of the bone were like fresh bone and contain what seems to be blood cells and hemoglobin, which is a protein that makes blood red and carries oxygen. Now, they're still investigating these controversial discoveries, but common sense would say that if these bones really were tens of millions of years old, then the blood cells and the hemoglobin would have totally disintegrated by now. And the bones certainly shouldn't be fresh. More recently, in 2002, scientists split open a T-Rex thigh bone and discovered flexible, even elastic, soft tissue meat still inside. Microscopic examination revealed fine, delicate blood vessels with what appear to be intact red blood cells and other type of cells, like osteocytes, which are bone-forming cells. These vessels were soft, translucent, and flexible. The mummified carcass of a duck-billed hadrosaur named Leonardo also turned up in Montana. The preserved soft tissue covering 90% of the fossil contained muscle, nail material, a beak, and skin. His last meal consisted of a salad of ferns, conifers, and magnolias, seasoned with pollen from 40 different plants. This type of evidence would undoubtedly lead one to realize that dinosaurs probably aren't as old as previously thought. But for those of the evolutionary mindset, they're busy scrambling trying to prove how dinosaurs and soft tissue survived for over 65 million years. Because of course, dinosaurs died out way before man came along, right?